assalamu alaikum dear students i hope everyone is safe in your homes so uh, we are going to start chapter number 3 that is chapter number 3 that is housing and clothing my screen is visible to everyone so here is the introduction so why uh, clothing is important to us why we wear clothes because it helps to protect us so why we need to wear clothes we need we need clothes to wear to protect our body to cover our body so no one in, uh, insect can bite us which insect can bite us uh, like mosquito if we wear full sleeves clothes then mosquito will not bite us in our arms and our legs so we should wear the full clothes because it protect us from many different things it protect us from sun here uh, why from the sun because everyone know that in summer uh, the sun rays is too much hot that we, uh, we feel that our skin is burning so that's why we should we uh, wear the clothes to protect our skin from the harmful rays that are coming towards the sun uh, towards us from the sun suraj se jo different garam shwai nikal rahi hoti hain hamari skin ko usse protection ke liye we must need to wear the clothes so we need clothes to uh, to protect us from wind as you all know that in summer season especially in summer season uh, there is very hot wind is blowing so we should wear light clothes in summer and uh, in winter season there is too much coldness outside so in uh, to pro, uh, protect us from this coldness and hotness we should wear the clothes we can also uh, protect ourselves from the rain from dust and from cold these are the things from which we uh, clothes helps us to protect them then next day insects bites so as i have given you the example of mosquitoes the mosquito mostly mosquito can bite us so we can wear the clothes and uh, why uh, here is the word written as smart why uh, it's written as smart because when we wear different types of different colorful clothes we look very pretty we look very smart uh, sometimes um, uh when you wear the beautiful clothes girls and boys student you can admire yourself that wow i am looking so beautiful in these clothes so that's why you also like to wear different kinds of clothes to look yourself pretty and smart so moving forward to the next in ancient times ancient time is that time Uh, when clothes were not invented jab kapdon ki ijad nahi hui thi then how people survive they wear the leaves as you can see in this picture one uh, people is covering his body uh, from the leaves and second is covering his body through animals wearing animal skin they how they wear animal skin they as you all uh, have seen in your own houses when eid ul adha is coming you uh, sacrifice goat camel and some sacrifice cow so when the meat is taken off from this uh, from the cow and sheep and camel the layer of skin is left behind so this skin uh, in ancient times the time before and uh, people are going to wear it so ancient times again i'm saying that the time when clothes were not invented jab kapde nahi the then they used to wear it aur wo us time pe animals ko kill karte the aur unki skin jo hai usko apni body se khud ko cover karte the 
skin and leaves they both were helpful at that time so nowadays aajkal hamare paas nowadays means two days time so now there is lot of invention in this world so uh, here are few types of clothes that we are wearing the first one cloth is name as cotton here is a picture where my cursor is moving this is a picture of cotton clothes you have seen different kinds of clothes even uh, boys can also wear these cotton clothes like uh, mostly you can uh, wear shalwar kameez which are made up of cotton and then second one is silk here is a picture of silk silk is a very soft and shiny uh, cloth so next is wool w uh, wool come from the animal skin here is a wool and wool protect wool is too much warm and it protect us from cold so we use this cloth this wool cloth we use in winter season or in summer season if we wear in summer we feel lot of warm in ourselves so wool protects our body from cold so we wear this wool in winter season then nylon here is a picture of the nylon cloth you can say it's very um this thick and stuffy cloth then uh, next is plastic you can see plastic clothes basically you have seen when someone wears the rain coats in rain coat for a uh, form you can see there's plastic uh, rain coats are there which protects the body which protects the clothes from the rain then rubber have uh, nowadays everyone is wearing the rubber gloves and the plastic gloves to protect ourselves from the corona virus so these are the different types of clothes that we daily uh, wear, uh, use in our life so in your own homes you have seen in your own surroundings there are many things you have seen that are made up of clothes like if you are sitting in a, uh, in a room there are curtains curtains also are made up from clothes if you are um, sitting on a bed then your bed sheet is also made up of cloth and even the um, underneath the mattress the mattress covering is also from cloth so in our daily life there is uh, clothes are very important and very useful in our daily life we can't survive without these without wearing these clothes so how are these clothes made up of here is fiber what is fiber fiber basically is known as thread everyone has seen that uh, a thread is very thin strand very thin and long strand so a uh, strand is known as the thread so these clothes like our bed sheet curtains uh, the clothes we wearing so these all are made up of different types of threads which are co combined together so these threads we use very thin thread like th very thin thread like structures material is known as the fiber so either we can use the word thread either we can say it's a fiber so both are same in meaning so never confuse uh, someone if someone is say that uh, have you seen fiber so never confused between fiber and thread dhaga jisko kehte hai na thread same same the meaning term used for as fiber so thin thread like materials is known as the fiber so how this fiber is going to made these fiber first spun spun means to tear into yarn yarn like uh, have you ever uh, seen a ball of uh, in which thread is going to be jisme uh, thread jo hai round kiya hota hai usko kehte hain yarn the first it spin into yarn and thread will helps in the spindle fiber here the first picture you can see here in the first picture the, this picture is a spindle spinning spindle so how it's work you can see the orange color these are the um, these are the source which is taken from either the plant source or either the animal this is a pure material here they can you can see a hook as well so in this hook 
they attach that uh, pure material then they spin like you can spin the top टॉप इज जिस तरह लट्टू को मूव करते हैं ना स्पिन द टॉप सिमिलरली इट्स नॉन एज द स्पिनिंग स्पिंडल सिमिलरली यू कैन स्पिन इट एंड देन इट टर्न इन टू सॉफ स्मॉल थ्रेड्स वेन यू स्पिन इट दिस ऑरेंज सोर्स इज टर्निंग इन टू थ्रेड एंड यू कैन गेट दीज fibers now second machine machine which helps you to make the fiber is the spinning wheel jisko if anyone has visited the village you can see it there isko urdu mein charkha bhi bolte hain aap logon agar koi gaon gaya hoga to usne wahan pe aksar dekha hoga the wheel is going to be spin and then thread is going to be form okay next is first i told you it's the tool name as spinning spindle it also helps in make the fiber make the thread second is spinning wheel third is here is a new type of um, machine electrical machine as these two things are time taken and we cannot make no we cannot Uh, nowadays everyone is demanding the clothes kapde ki bahut zyada zarurat hai that's why we have to in hurry we have to need the uh, threads so these are nowadays using these machine these machines are known as weaving machines which fastly you can see in this machine here threads are going to be attached and these threads are combined together to make the clothes clothes also known uh, we can say that these are fabrics have you ever heard the word of fabric fabric also the same meaning like cloth so as we can say thread thread another name used for thread is fiber so another name used for cloth is fabric remember it students so in the previous math, uh, previous days here uh, previous uh, last year back in old age there is hand loom another machine which uh, where too many threads are going to be attached and they are combined together to make us a clothes so here are the types of fiber uh, how many types of fiber we can get that there are two basically types of fiber that is natural fiber and then second is synthetic fiber what are the natural fibers natural fibers are those which we can uh, get from the natural source natural source like we can get from plants we can get from animals examples of these clothes are cotton cotton we can get from the cotton plant so its its source is plant so next is wool wool uh, we can get from the sheep goats and cows ईद उल अजहा पे कुर्बानी के लिए अक्सर लोगों के घरों में छतरे आते हैं छतरों के ऊपर जो सॉफ्ट सी स्किन होती है ना दिस इज गोइंग टू बी टीयर रिमूव फ्रॉम देयर बॉडी एंड इट्स दिस थिंग हेल्प यू हेल्प अस टू मेक द वूल वूल सो नेक्स्ट इज सिल्क सिल्क आल्सो अ नेचुरल फाइबर एंड इट्स इट्स सोर्सेस प्लांट वी कैन गेट द सिल्क फ्रॉम द सिल्क सिल्क प्लांट next is jute we can also get the uh, clothes from this jute plant jute is also a type of a plant so in our lecture only the wool wool sources animal next is synthetic fiber the fiber which we produce in the factories in the factories uh, there are, they do many chemical processes they add many chemicals on it to make the clothes example of these clothes are nylon trilin rayon and polyester these are the example of these clothes these are the clothes which made which are made in the factories and what there is a major difference between these clothes as well that natural fiber clothes the clothes which are made from natural fiber they can dry they cannot dry very easily 
they take too much time to dry and while the synthetic fiber clothes they dry very quickly so here is a major difference between these two as well so next first moving forward to our first type it's the natural fiber cotton here is a cotton plant you can see there is a fluffy balls you can see uh, where my cursor is moving the fluffy balls is known as the cotton so these balls are again they take off these balls and use us um, previously we have read the spinning spindle uh, spinning wheel hand loom or weaving machine then they keep uh, these white fluffy material into these machines and there from there they can get the fiber and then these fiber uh, is going to be changed into these types of fabric so these are the cotton clothes so cotton is collected from the hairy seeds of coconut so here is the hairy seeds i have told you this is our cotton plant and we can get the uh, the cotton from these hairy seeds next is jute here is a jute plant you can see this is very tall tree Uh, so we can get the jute from the stems and the outer skin of these plants so uh, the, you can mostly this is the basically jute cloth and this jute cloth uh, cloth is going to be uh, is used mostly used in uh, to make the uh, to make your chairs chairs the inner lining jo hoti hai usko cover kiya jata hai is cloth ke sath that is jute Now even the uh, uh, things like uh, the grains, which are kept in these bags. These bags are made of these clothes that is known as the jute. So second, uh, moving forward next, that is wool. As I told you, that body hairs of sheep, goat, and camels, they can remove the uh, hairs of their body, and then hairs that are Uh, with their skin and uh, with the skins of these animals they can only remove the hairs not the skin of these animals and then and these <coughs> wool is turned into again they have taken into two processes first they make the fiber from the original source then the fiber is uh, they are to gathering these fibers and they make a fabric and when this fabric uh, combined together you can wear the wool uh, a girls wear the woolen shawls boys wears a sweater so these sweaters and shawls we can get from the sheep goats camels next here is silk so how we collect the silk here you can see these these white color insects the basically they helps to make the silk these insects is known as the silk worms or you can say that silk moths either you can use the word silk worm or either you can say it silk moths so what happens silk moths collected the cocoons cocoons what are the cocoons these white balls these white balls made by the bees silk worm so when these cocoons are ready then these cocoons again passing with these two processes first fiber is going to make then these fiber is going to collect it and make the fabric so uh, a cocoon is covering made from oh, uh, from smooth th uh, thread in which baby silk worm lives where these silk worms live they lives in these cocoons so from from where we can get the silk we can get the silk from these silk moths next is synthetic fiber so here is a example of synthetic fiber in your uh, book there is uh, synthetic fiber is not in in detail only the names of these fiber are uh, here so you just remember the same what are synthetic fiber they are nylon here is the picture of nylon then uh, here is rayon these are the rayon as i told you that in previously that they are covered with the, uh, the threads are collected so you can see that there are many threads in different ways they are collected so these are known as the fibers so next is trilene here is a picture of trilene and here is a picture of polyester so these are the fabrics through uh, which we can 
use in different types of materials as well so next is how we are going to keep care of our clothes okay how we can care our clothes as you all know that we used for washing we use a soap we use a detergent so for washing these clothes as they are made and their sources are different some sources are plant some uh, uh, sources are animal some made from the chemicals so uh, the procedure of washing these clothes will be different according to the clothes so we wash clothes should be rinsed properly into to remove clothes rinsed mean to dip into water to remove the soap or detergent in it when we wash our clothes with the soap or detergent definitely the soap and detergent will enter in, in these clothes so we should rinse means add more water in it to remove these soaps and detergent from that cloth so synthetic clothes should not be squeezed why did they did not be squeezed squeeze kehte hain kisi cheez ko na chodne ko so why we didn't squeeze that as i told you earlier that these clothes can be dry easily they can easily uh, quickly dry all the water in it so we should not squeeze these clothes then woolen clothes should be kept out in the sun why they kept out in the sun as uh, we know that our sweaters our shawls the uh, things which protect us from the cold these clothes are known as woolen clothes so we should keep these clothes in the sun because if we do not keep them into the sun, uh, sun we a specific smell is coming from these clothes so that's why we should keep these clothes into the sun and woolen clothes packed with neem leaves or moth balls in your own homes you can observe when the season is going to be changed when your mother is changing shifting the clothes like summer clothes they are taking the summer clothes and packing the winter clothes so they, your mother use a moth ball small um, it's a small white color ball like tablet which we and they keep them in the woolen so these clothes cannot be cannot be changed into another one so that's why to prevent these clone uh, clothes they keep the moth balls there so here is a process of dry cleaning dry cleaning clothes by using a fluid rather than water dry cleaning mein water ki jagah ek aur fluid use kiya jata hai kapdon ko dhone ke liye dry cleaning is often used to wash delicate clothes delicate clothes means like aap log uh, sab sardiyon mein use karte hain blankets kambal jisko kehte hain use karte hain ab usko agar hum mostly log dry clean karate hain agar waise pani se wash karenge uski softness khatam ho jayegi for the prevention for this softness we must use uh, give them to the dry uh, give them these clothes to for the dry cleaning so their softness uh, will remain the same might be detergent uh, can damage the uh, these clothes as when you wash these clothes with water as i told you their softness will be vanished khatam ho jati hai properly next topic is importance of clean clothes so what is the importance wear clean clothes as we wear clean clothes we look neat and clean if we wear dirty clothes are low um, everyone that meet he or she will say that kitna ganda lag raha hai to because when we wear our neat and clean clothes our personality will enhance we look pretty in that how nice he or she is going to be looked so dry clothes what happened dry clothes will look shab uh, shabby shabby means dirty and very uh, different dry, uh, dirty clothes causes skin diseases we some students get rashes while wearing the dirty clothes in their skin so we should avoid to wearing dirty clothes and we should not lend or borrow clothes why we should not lend we use our own clothes hum dusro ke kapde apne behan bhaiyon ke kapde pehne se 
गुरेज करना चाहिए सो दैट इंसेक्ट वी कैन नॉट वन बी चेंजिंग द क्लोथ वियरिंग द क्लोथ फ्रॉम वन पर्सन टू एन अदर इन्फेक्शन इज गोइंग टू बी पासिंग फ्रॉम वियरिंग डाउन हमें अगर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ सम वन इज सफरिंग फ्रॉम एचिंग मतलब किसी को हारिश लगी हुई है और अगर आपने उसके कपड़े पहन लिया तो डेफिनेटली यू ऑल्सो फील इचिंग इन योर स्किन सो दैट्स वाई वी शुड नॉट वियरिंग दीज क्लोथ सो मूविंग फॉरवर्ड टू द योर क्लास वर्क अगेन we are going to start first take out the pencils and uh, in your hands from the previous now you know those students who didn't do uh, understand it and they didn't didn't complete it so open page number 16 here is a warm up so again i'm uh, repeating it unscramble the word so uh, student do it fastly as we are not having any time so before starting this lecture you must ready your books and pencils should be in your hands so unscramble the word and name the types of houses shown in the picture first one is car one again i'm saying that car one c a r a v a n c a r a v a n car one second picture is a house so uh, is house that is tent t e n t tent next is boat house b o a t boat h o u s e house boat house last one is igloo i g l double o igloo again i am repeating first picture is car one second is tent third is boat house fourth is igloo now moving forward to the next page number 18 for fresh air we should grow dash around the house that is plants we should grow plants next the entrance door should be strong last one a house should have fresh water supply again i am repeating in first one plant second one is strong third one is water next moving forward to, to the page number 20 here is had put the fibers in the correct groups first you are only going to take the natural fibers first one is wool make a tick on it you can later on you can write it on the natural fibers wool second one is jute make a tick on jute then cotton make a tick on cotton then last one silk so write down these four fibers are the natural fibers that is wool jute wool jute cotton and silk they are natural fiber later rayon trilene poly 